Hey guys, okay, let's get you another reading, see where this goes. I hope you guys are doing really well. I feel like somebody here is really preoccupied with, I don't know, I think somebody's having headaches. I was getting that when I was going into, <clears throat> when I was just about to come into the reading, I could feel it like so much in the front. I don't know, maybe that's a migraine headache or something like that. Someone may, someone actually may have one of those right now. Or maybe they're getting that or maybe clusters. I feel like it's more so in the frontal lobe though for some reason. I also feel like there may be that stress may actually be activating some of this. It could be other things as well. Hormones for some reason is going and coming out to me, but it could be something else. There, uh, something else. I feel like there's a need to pay attention to this. All work and no play. I just heard that. Okay, so maybe someone is stressing themselves out about work. Okay, I feel like someone thinks that there's. Does someone think they're on the chopping blocks? I don't know why I'm hearing these terms. Okay, so maybe someone feels like they're going to be cut or lose something. Perhaps this has something to do around a work situation. Someone, oh, okay, who is this? Someone feels like something is coming out or could potentially come out around a work situation. It's going to paint them. Um, yeah, it could very well paint them in some kind of bad light. Okay, uh, somebody is actually afraid of this, so maybe this is you, I don't know, just take it as it resonates here. It could also be someone around you. This could cause termination, or someone thinks that it will anyway. That's what's coming through in the thought patterns. Maybe it is. Maybe it is an offense, but maybe it is a term, uh, termination kind of offense, I guess. There's something else going on here though. Okay, now I'm seeing money kind of moving as well. Okay, somebody could have actually taken something that maybe didn't belong to them or... It has something to do with money. Somebody could have taken money or taken something, taken some kind of money, maybe some kind of bribe. I guess if you work with money or something like that, you took money and didn't report it. It's something like that. And by the way, I'm saying you, this could obviously be someone around you, someone who you know. Whoever it is, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, even headaches, like really bad headaches that are happening as a result of this. Someone doesn't feel right in that area. I almost feel like I'm being hampered in some sense, maybe in my to even process this, like there's so much stress around it. This is interesting. This is coming through very strong. So this is definitely a, this is definitely a, uh, this is definitely speaking to somebody. I know that because it's coming through way too strong just in the channeling part. Tori, there might be a Tori. There might, Tori may be someone's name or I guess it could be a, yeah, I guess it could be a first name or last name, something like that. And I'm hearing Ellen as well. Elena, oh, Ellen. All right, let's go and see what this is about. Okay, so I grabbed a really strange deck. Let's see why I did that. Let's see. Surprise. Okay, some kind of surprise could be coming up. It could be this person's actually dredging something up in a net. It could be something that's been hidden, something that's been under the surface in some way. Something that others could not see. It looks like somebody's actively looking for that, though. But it could be a surprise to others. Yeah, and there's going to be some kind of conversations that are being had about whatever this is. Whatever this discovery is that is actually happening. What's being found here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever it is. I feel like somebody here is being alerted about it. So somebody's going to hear about it. Perhaps you're hearing about this. Maybe this is why I'm talking to you. Okay, you're hearing about this in some way, whether it's to you as the person that's being served this message in some way. 
being served. It's interesting I said that maybe someone is being served. That's how they're hearing about it. Somebody could be being sued or being served some kind of paper here. May have to do with a wedding. Hmm, that's interesting. A wedding or a gift. What is this? This is the merchant. Did somebody take something from you that was maybe of value? I keep picking up this exchange of like money and someone being afraid that it's going to come out. It's going to be unearthed in some way. And now we have the merchant maybe because they've sold it. If someone was robbed or something like that, I don't know where this reading is going. If someone was taken from another person you may receive, especially if it was you that was taken from, you may receive, um, you may receive some kind of information as to where that's at or to who took it. It could be something very valuable is what I'm getting here. There is some kind of talk that's going on and I did say serve, so somebody may actually be in trouble. I feel like over this, absolutely. And look, here's the person I was seeing earlier. Somebody's very afraid this is coming out. They're praying in this situation. They're looking for some kind of consolation. Look into the angels here, right? Um, trying to get some kind of consolation because they know they're going to be close. This makes me almost feel like this could be a family member or someone that is very close to you in some way, shape, or form. Something is definitely coming out, I feel. Someone feels immense sorrow. Okay, over whatever this is, you know, maybe it's about some kind of inheritance. This could have been some kind of, you know, through some kind of marriage or something like that. So if you were married into a family or something like that and something was left to you, it could be something along those lines. This could also be someone that's related to you as like an in-law or maybe even someone that you... Someone that you were married to. This is interesting. I feel like the information here could be coming towards the sweetheart because we see someone being served here and then we see someone actually reading this, right? Whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be ending a chapter um, for you, possibly. Maybe bring in some kind of awareness to you about something that has taken place here. You definitely feel like something was stolen from you or taken from you of value. Now, that could obviously be metaphorical, okay? Maybe you feel like someone duped you out of a, you know, a great opportunity, out of a great love, out of anything like that that you felt like was of value, that you were cheated in some sense. I feel like that is being unearthed and coming to light, you may be receiving some kind of communication in terms of that. Let me see what else. Let me see who is in this reading spirit. What is this about for the collective, please? Okay, a young male could be involved here. Uh, this could be somebody that's in the sports cars and the fast cars, or this could just be someone that is very youthful, youthful at heart here. Okay, somebody here could be, um, hmm, that's interesting. Somebody here could be a little bit shy, a bit of a wallflower. This could also be you, though. I feel like some, a wallflower, though. I feel like this person is paying attention. I can't help but see this big shadow around this individual as well. This may be you watching this shadowy figure or knowing someone is actually this way, okay? And just paying attention because that's the thing about the wallflower. It does say withholding, but withholding reminds me of like a high priestess energy. Like I'm sitting back, I'm withholding what I know, but I'm paying attention to everything, right? Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm talking to someone that already suspects or knows something about this storyline right here? Wow, twin flame. This could be about some. I said it could be something valuable that you felt cheated out of, okay? This could be about something very karmic that happened in your situation, okay, that affected some kind of spiritual alignment that was trying to happen. Mm-hmm. You or 
them could have been a mature man or someone who is mature in age. Yeah. And again, the value, it could have been something as well that you felt like that took money. It's interesting that I'm seeing a mature man and a young male here, and then I have a wallflower. So somebody could have came in and actually catfished another or duped another in a sense as well. Into believing, I see the twin flame card. We often hear about false flames. I really just call them karmics, but um, you know, maybe it was that situation. We see karmic on this card as well. It could have been someone who you got on with that that person was just about money or wanting some kind of money or stability that you actually had. We saw that something was taken, something of value. Yeah. This could have been somebody that you actually dated here. This is interesting. I see a home here, real estate. You could have had real estate with this person. Maybe they wanted you to purchase a home together. You could have had that together. But look, this was about control in some sense. Wanting to have control of a situation, dominate a situation. I feel like that, that's definitely a puppet on a string there. Okay. They could have had you kind of acting out of character a little bit or trying to make that happen. I don't know why this is coming through so strongly. I think you have someone in your life now or that's trying to come into your life that's quite significant. And maybe that's why this is actually coming up. Maybe this is a confession. Maybe someone has to tell. I don't think so, though, because someone doesn't want you to find out is what I get. You could also be in a new home. That's what I feel. Somebody here could be a brunette female here. Very focused. Um, you might be an intense person. Here's that communication again. I just, feel, I can feel this. I feel like this is coming through for someone. And someone's desperately trying to keep whatever this is that's been hidden from coming to light. You may have someone new that is trying to come into your life that's going to be a very significant connection and someone else is trying to, I don't know, come in is what it feels or perhaps reappear and doesn't want you to know about something that happened here or that's taken place here. But again, I'm going to go back to that wallflower. I don't know why I'm looking at the wallflower that way, but I feel like you do know. I feel like you know, know about this, but maybe not the extent because something was taken. All right, let's keep going. Spirit, what is this? Talk to me about this, this situation, please. Mm -hmm. Celebration, wonderful. There could have been three people involved in this as well, whatever this is. This could have been something that you actually walked away from. Okay, so this could have been some kind of deceit or betrayal that you already know of because it looks like you... You walked away from whatever this situation is, and you're doing quite well for yourself. I felt that, okay? You're doing very good. You are focused, okay? You're doing well in your life. Um, you may have acquired a certain amount of success for yourself as well. You're coming across as quite stable. Um, you know, you take care of business. You're also quite compassionate, I feel. Um, nurturing even as well, but very smart. And you're definitely about your business, okay? Very stable individual, very balanced individual. So you're out here alchemizing, okay? What about, what is this other situation? Yeah, look. This other situation brought a lot of conflict, I feel like, to your life. This person can actually feel like you're a competitor for them in some way, shape, or form. It could be, I suppose, around some kind of work. I feel like... Hmm, that came up in the other reading as well, where someone was trying to create some kind of imbalance for you, some kind of conflict for you. Maybe where it comes to your work, you may actually know this person through work. Whoever this is here, okay? You might have actually chosen someone else or decided that somebody feels dismissed in a sense. Okay, I don't know where this is coming from. Dismissed in a sense. Is that the money? Is that why someone felt cheated out of money or something? There's two cards of work here. Out of some kind of contract or something like that. There's the house again. I 
I, I would be very careful with whatever this is because I mean I'm getting I, I feel like there's a lot here and there's a lot of work that's going into here but I also feel like someone is trying to I just feel like I feel like somebody's trying to create some kind of illusions here and it may be because you have you very clearly have something really good going on here it looks like in your life so it may be a need to kind of draw you back in, but I almost feel like they just don't want to see you happy. So you have this happiness that is coming for you and may already actually be in your life. This could be showing me an upcoming marriage. This could be that twin flame that we actually saw. I wonder if someone's father... Or something like that is coming between or trying to come between a situation. Or maybe someone, you know, we saw a younger one as well. Perhaps it's someone's child. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. I feel like somebody might be studying you as well. Really kind of looking into you, okay, trying to figure figure you out in some way. Maybe they're trying to figure out also what you know or if you have actually unearthed something here. Yeah, if you're married, they could be wondering if you're already married, if you're in some kind of um, high commitment, some kind of committed relationship. This could be somebody that you actually have blocked out of your life or who knows that you are, <laughs> that you're going to stand your ground or you have been standing your ground with. This person sees you in an era of growth for yourself, fertility in a sense. You may have just had a baby. Somebody here may have had a baby or could be having a baby. They see that you're investing, I feel like, in yourself and perhaps in those around you. There's that high priestess card. Also in your um, in your higher self and building your own awareness, building your own connection here, I feel like, to spirit. See, they know that you're very tuned in. And I think this is why they kind of want to know, well, what all do you know? This person feels like you have a lot of secrets. They feel like you are quite mysterious. And that you like it that way. I almost feel like they feel challenged by that. Like you want it. This is like a tactic on your part to keep them guessing. And it may be. I don't really look at a high priestess like that, honestly. Because the high priestess doesn't really play games, right? It's just, no, this is just my life. This is the way I'm living. It's almost like your transformation has been too large or... Um, too vast for someone is kind of what I'm getting here. And so they may still be thinking kind of one dimensionally and you're like so far beyond that, right? Like, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm really, I'm not doing anything to affect you. I'm so completely detached from that. I'm over here in my, you know, in my own world and my own life. Yeah. Focusing on what's next. I do feel like there's a union coming in. Absolutely. This could be an actual twin flame or just a soul alignment with someone very special in your life. This could be somebody who's already watching you in some way or already in your life in some way. Look at this. Wow. Ten of coins energy. This is something very special. I feel like could be very special. Could bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, longevity. Hmm. Okay. Let me get, I'm going to say, I'm just going to get some moon messages. I don't know who this is in your life. I want to see if they had something to say to the collective. What would it be? something look twin flames again so somebody definitely feels like you are their twin flame they feel like they're supposed to be with you like you two are supposed to be united they're saying that you deserve more wow 
maybe this is what it was in the past. Maybe somebody told you that. I kept saying somebody took something you feel cheated, like something valuable was taken from you. Maybe someone said you deserve more. They couldn't live up. Maybe they didn't feel like they could live up to your expectations. There are two people in this equation now. It makes me feel like someone else was kind of controlling the situation or lending input to the situation that actually may have made someone feel this way or take another path. This is my nerves get the best in me sometimes. So maybe you noticed that with someone. Maybe I, I feel like somebody here could have been a little impulsive perhaps with their actions here, maybe even with the things that they said. Definitely a lack of communication. They said, though, I miss you more than you know. Somebody absolutely believes that they are your twin. And you have, by the way, you have the four wands here. You have two twin flame cards that have actually came out. So somebody believes that they are your twin flame. And I don't know that they necessarily feel you're an empress energy, that they are up to, especially not before, because I kept saying feeling cheated. So maybe they didn't feel like they were the best fit for you. You deserve more than who they were or maybe what they could give or who they felt they were, right? Your words speak to me like no other. So I'm really curious what they're worried about here being... Look, this person says, I can't walk away, but I believe that they were actually wishy-washy here in the past with you. They didn't see you coming. They didn't expect it. You hit them out of nowhere, okay? It could have actually ended with someone leaving angry is what I feel here, okay, with the card of angry. Maybe someone here actually left uh, the situation feeling kind of angered by it. Maybe anger, somebody got angry due to being questioned or brought up on something, you know, that maybe they did. Maybe there were some kind of angry words and someone just, it was impulsive. That's what I keep feeling. It was impulsive. They said, again, you were so unexpected. Yeah. And so they could have actually left that or left the situation. This could have been actually a secret situation anyway that not, not many people or anybody actually knew about. Yeah, again, you will always be my secret love. It was definitely a secret for some of you guys, okay? Someone has intense feelings for you, but I feel like something else is going on here. It's almost like they want you to know. I think this has to do with you moving on with someone else or someone feeling like you're moving on with another person. Maybe they're watching you move, uh, move on with another person if that's actually happening. I do think with the marriage cards, this is what they think is happening. They feel like you are, you've you settled down or you've married. And remember, they kept saying how you were secret. So it makes me feel like this is in their imagination or because you've been so secretive, this is what they're feeling here. Huh. Okay. Let me see. Maybe I'm gross. Let me get one of these, maybe. I'm so happy to have all my cards back. Oh my God, I just can't put it. I'm trying to line them up again. They've been in storage for so long. And <laughs> of course, I've already accumulated so many new ones, but I miss these so much. I don't think I knew how much until I started pulling them out. I just love them so much. These are all my originals. All right, Spirit, let's see. I could never hide from you. Yeah, you always saw straight through me. I tried to keep up a facade, but failed. Yeah, and that could have also angered them because they already felt like you deserved more, okay? Like you weren't on their level in some way. I'm sorry. Like they were not on your level, I should say, in some way. It's the way that this is coming out. It says, I'm re rediscovering myself so I can provide you the love and relationship that you deserve. I mean, this person could actually just be having some kind of awakening. They are watching you. Your words speak to them. They're making some kind of connection is what I feel to you, to the situation, to the relationship, maybe to how things went out. They could also be angry today about how the way, the way that things ended, which is interesting because I was talking about how someone felt very cheated, right? 
Someone wants to contact you, but they worry that you might reject them if they reach out. They're, they want to know if there's a possibility with you, if you would still want them. If you do still want them in some way. It says that your love was too intense to handle. They needed a break, uh, to break away for a while, to actually recover. Wow. Okay. But it says that the time of heart has brought someone truth and clarity about your connection. And it's clear to them that they made the wrong choice. So somebody really, really, I have come to the realization that I still love you. There is still hope for us if you would take me back. Somebody is figuring out maybe who you are to them in their life. How powerful this connection is. Uh, is that that perhaps someone walked away from but I feel like there's connections being made if that makes sense like all the all the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together and it's kind of undeniable according to this this reading here these cards here tonight this person also feels like maybe you they have competition they definitely think that you're and you could definitely be with someone else I feel so it's almost like maybe that's also part of the anger. Am I too little, too late in this particular situation? But they're actually owning what's happened here and the fact that they made the wrong choice. Definitely. Wow. Okay. Very clear tonight. So, okay, I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Um, let me know if it resonates. I'll see you soon. Bye.